What we've been doing today is thinning out some of these really overgrown trees and helping develop some sight lines through the property for, uh, for safety really purposes. Great. So, you know, people can't get back in there and camp without, uh, without a scene. We've got a small grant to work with Tucson Audubon to, and Parks and Rec to look at how to manage this as a, a little in a more nuanced way for bird habitat and recreation and of course beauty and safety. And so managing, balancing all those goals, how uh, can this function better? A lot of groups just call us up and want to know where they can help plant trees. And so we say, come on out and join us. We're having, you know, this community is planting trees on such a date. And then, so we, it's a really great thing to kind of marry volunteers with ongoing tree projects and everybody um, benefits. And then you get a bunch more trees in the ground. In this case, we have so many different kinds of trees and many of them non-native. So we, we thought, what are really good natives that support birds and so the hackberry the netleaf hackberry is one that performs that role very well parks and rec was very supportive of uh, improving the diversity of trees and the number of trees here so i think we'll be doing some more planting too so these trees will now be managed by parks and rec but i will come back frequently as probably everybody that helped today will come back and say, I planted that tree, how's it doing? <laughs> and so, you know, now people feel a connection to this place and to these trees from having participated. It's great because it's not so much the work we're doing, but it's the teaching other people. You know, you're, you know, six inches? Forever more, I think those uh, 20 volunteers today will know how to plant a tree, how to prune a tree in a way they didn't know before they got here really true the very best time to plant a tree is now.